I'm Paul Jeffries, reforestation advisor for ArborGen. We're out here on a track today while it's being planted, and I'm standing here with Jeff Smith of Scotch Plywood. We're going to talk about proper handling of seedlings prior to the planters getting them and beginning to put them in the ground. Handling the trees before you plant them properly is just as important as planting that tree right. properly in the ground. And, and I know guys that just go out behind the crews and take plots and check, and that's fine. You can tell that that tree is planted properly, but you don't know how that tree was handled before it went in the ground. That's why I stay out here with our crews all the time. I'm here with them every morning, uh, and, and I watch. And, and I really have to break them from some bad habits because, as you can see, this box, it was wet at the nursery when they pulled the trees, and there, there's a lot of dirt down in this box and that adds weight to the trees, so it's more weight the guys have to carry. Well, their natural tendency is to try to lighten their load as much as they can. So they'll pull these trees out and they'll take them and just sling them like that. When you do that, you're slinging off the root coating that was put on at the nursery for a reason, for a purpose, and, and they take those trees, just sling them. And number two, it's kind of like putting them in a blow dryer. On these cool, crisp, dry air days, you know, you don't want to be slinging that tree through the air like that, just drying out the, the root hairs on the laterals. Uh, another thing that you'll see them do is they'll slap those trees against the box like that. I mean, these trees are really tender down here at the roots, and the skin is real thin, and you'll bruise that root, and you're giving it a much less chance of survival when you do that. Right. When those roots are bruised, uh, some of them will live, but some of them will not. So uh, one of the reasons I have a pretty high survival rate on my planting is because I really pay close attention to how they're handled before they actually put them in the bag and start planting. Right. And can you tell us when you, when the planting crew comes to you, can you tell that that planting crew has been allowed to do that in the past and you have to? Oh, absolutely. These guys, a lot of these guys planted for me last year, the right. same crew, same crew leader. They, they know what I expect, but it's, I can tell as soon as they leave me, they go back to those habits. They'll sort and they'll slap like that against the box. And, and the first day, that's the first thing I have to stop and, and get them out of that. But you can see we've got really good roots on these trees. They've been undercut great at the nursery, so there's no reason for any pruning. Uh, so I don't allow pruning. Uh, and, and you know, you just want to really get that tree. And when you plant it, you want to get it up here above the root collar above the root collar right and people don't realize that you know probably the most important part of a seedling is not what what's above ground it's what's below ground because that's where all the nutrients are, are stored for that tree so when it comes time for it to wake up in springtime and start growing you don't want any areas bruised on those roots because that can that can disrupt the flow of the nutrients going into the going into what we yeah, call it the really shoot. does. Right. It's just like, you know, a bigger tree just running into it with a dozer. Well, you, right. you, you, you'll kill half of it a lot of time because it, it just stops the flow of nutrients up and down the tree. Right. And people don't realize that these seedlings are living organisms just like you and I. Exactly. So they bruise just like we do. And uh, it, it, you know, when we have a, a uh, injury or a bruise and we don't take care of it, something, uh, uh, you know, a foreign object can get into it and cause a bad infection well with these seedlings the same thing can happen with them and unfortunately it can be a fatal injury to them and can cause them to to die yeah it really can and, and very often will right and very often will well thank you very much i really appreciate you sharing that with us all right thank you paul uh -huh.